Hello friends, it's your buddy Nick here with Game With The Guys. We're doing an ant's eye view at Dark Souls 1. Okay, out of the grass. And so in this episode, I'm actually going to head down into the catacombs. I haven't gone there yet. That's kind of an earlier level place, but I haven't taken the time to go yet. So let's uh, talk to some of these guys that we're going to see in a little later area there. Mm -hmm. Very insightful. Hmm? What have we here? You look awfully raggedy. Time's Aww. a time. The least you can do is look sharp. Don't you dare meet my lady like that. You might scare her off for good. What a prick! Oh, you again. What business have you? I don't suppose we can help, though. We accompany my lady on her righteous mission. It is quite a chore, but I'm stuck with her. And Nico, too. I can't very well abandon them now. Oh, well, you do have a heart. Oh. I don't, we are, okay. Is, I can't. What does she have to say? You are undead as well. I you am. Have no time to fraternize. I have my mission and you no doubt have yours. We must not let this curse overcome us. We mustn't. Anything else to say? Did I not explain the urgency of our tasks? Not Why really. are you so uncouth as to lack such judgment? By the looks of you, I should think not. Oh, what a jerk. All these people. Jerks everywhere. I break your vases. You probably have something new to say too, uh, don't you? Hello there. I believe we are not acquainted. I am Petrus oh. of Thoroughland. Apparently I haven't talked to him at all. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> So, we have a slumbering giant here. I'll take the time to run by here and pick out my prize so that I may sell it to Frampt later. And down along this way... I've probably picked up a lot of the stuff in this area, but there's all sorts of little goodies hiding around in there. Not really anything that I want so much, so... Let's see if I can, I can probably take these guys out with one hit now. There we go. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is something over here that I haven't got yet. Here we go. A round shield. Now, these guys will die if you kill them. That's what most enemies do. But not all enemies. We'll see in just a minute here that there's some guys that do not want to die. And I'll show you with, uh, with one. <laughs> I'm not going to go... Actually, yeah. These first ones here, I believe, will, won't die either. They are being powered by a pyromancer. So let me get... Oh, his buddy just... So here we go. If I knock him out, and I don't know if you saw, when he croaked there, his eyes were glowing white. That means that he's being controlled by a pyromancer. So if I chop at him again, glowing white eyes, he's not going to die. But I do have this, the Divine Club. And so now... Oh man, I am doing zero damage with that. That time he will die permanently. Oh, don't want to get hit by that, but I did any damn way. So let's head down here and we'll find some guys that... Let's see if I can... <laughs> I don't even have the enough power to kill him with one hit. So, are there any more of these guys down here? Here we go. Oops. I wanted to hit you with this. Whack. And whack. So. I may be rethinking this. Oh, by the way, I have gone through and upgraded my... My enchanted sight that is now a plus five. If you look there, my right hand weapon with this is 542. Before I uh, upgraded it, I think I was at plus one, and it was at 429, so I've gotten 
quite the upgrade there. Now in here, ah, oh, come on. Here's a little pyromancer friend, and I'll just go ahead and take him out. Now, we see these guys, and, oops, come on, let me, their eyes are not glowing white when I kill them, meaning that they will die for good. So, good news. And I'll light this bonfire here, because I've never done that. Now, if you watched my first episode, you know that I ran through here and, oops, let's see, I want to go ahead and we'll put on that that club again and oh such a huge drop in my attack power but come on buddy I honestly I do love the uh, the move set on the club it's pretty cool let's see if I can Okay. I don't need to use that. I'll use this. Oops. Oh, he got me. Let me heal up real quick. What shield do I have on? Do I have... Oh, the crest shield. I need to be using the dragon crest shield. Let's see. Boink. All right. Well, Logan's catalyst is powerful enough to take those guys out with one hit. So that's good news. I'm going to switch back to this because this is significantly more powerful. Kill both of those guys with one shot there. I'm hearing all sorts of stuff breaking. Let's see. Let's see if I can... You know what? I'll clear this area out here first. All of these guys were controlled by that one pyromancer that I just killed. Come on. My uh, controller sometimes is a little slow to react and doesn't get all of my uh, inputs. So I was a little upset with it there for not reacting the way I wanted it to. And these guys are just pretty, uh, pretty slow. You can usually just block their first attack there and... Ugh. Also, pretty easy parry targets, but... Why even take the chance when they're just going to bounce off your shield and you can just kill them that way? Oh, hello. And also, if they're coming up from the ground like that, you can take a shot at them before they've even finished, um, I don't want to say activating, but... Like he's on the ground there. Just kill him before he's even put himself together. I'm going to see if I can run back here. And I know that I can run back here, but I just wanted to be make sure that it was all nice and safe. And let's see. From here, I can probably pick those guys off. Um, where is my longbow? There we go. Let's see if I can lure these guys to fall to their death. Come here, buddy. If not, a nice shot to the head... You know, at least it leaves an arrow in there for some humorous, a humorous look. And I want to get rid of that. I don't think that, uh-oh. I think that these guys might be controlled by that other pyromancer. Yep, white eyes. So I'll have to go up there and kill that other pyromancer before I can get rid of them. Before I can get rid of them for good. You can, you can knock them down, and that gives you a little second to run away or regroup or whatnot, but... This guy, fortunately, was controlled by the first Pyromancer. And I'll just go ahead, I'll put this on here. This guy will probably shoot some flames at me. And now he is gone. And his little buddies are going to be easy pickets. But if they're not going to catch back up to me, no big deal. No, they're kind of just hiding out. All right, and since I've already gone through and flipped a lot of these bridges, this whole area is going to be significantly easier. <laughs> so 
No bridge work to take care of. I can probably just like go straight down to the bottom, but let's see, I'll, I'll get some of the stuff along the way. Did I kill your pyromancer? Nope. They have another pyromancer down below. That's right. Let's go ahead and just kill that pyromancer. Oh, that guy just wanted to bail. There he is. Hello, pyromancer. Alright, now all of these guys are gonna... Oh, did he leave me a present? Yes, the Skull Lantern. Skull Lantern does double duty in that you can use it to light your path. It can be used as a weapon, I believe. Um, I'll bust it out in just a second here and, and take a look at it. So those guys are gone. Do I have any more of these little idiots running around trying to kill me? can't remember if this is... Yep. Get out of there before you get stabbed again, you idiot. Everyone's an idiot. Alright. Oh. And I gotta have some iframes on me there? Oop. Not enough to kill him. Come on. <laughs> Alright. Come on, just hit him. Alright, there we go. Now, I think that these things shoot spikes out, so be careful around these ones. Maybe they don't. But let's check out this Skull Lantern. I'll put it right here. Where are you, Skull Lantern? Alright, so you can hold it like this, and it'll light the area. You can bash people with it, and it does fire damage. But, um... The coolest thing that it does is you can sell it to our crow friends, or trade it, I guess. Trade it to the crow friends, and they will give you one of my favorite rings in the game, which is the fog ring. And that allows you to... Um, the fog ring actually makes you not invisible, but pretty damn close. Ah. I didn't know if that guy was still alive, but... Oh! He is. So there is a bonfire ahead, just like that message stated. But while I'm dropping down here, I don't like to use uh, the bonfires because it is... I don't know. I, I just don't like having to uh, fight all the guys coming back when they respawn, so I usually just leave them alone. And here is Patches. Good day. You look reasonably sane. I what am. Are you, in the catacombs? are you a cleric or something? Yes? Yes. I imagined as much. Best of luck with your pilgrimages or missions or whatever you do. This place is treacherous. Do watch your step, eh? <laughs> What else do you have to say? Yeah? But enough with the chit chat. In a place like this, we need to stay off. Now, I can't remember if he kills me because I said that I was a cleric or if he will leave me alone because I said that I was a cleric. Either way, I'm going to run as fast as I can just in case. <laughs> Alright, so, I can't remember if these guys will be, ah, they are, okay, oh, oh no, I'm stuck, let me go ahead, I'm going to put on my divine club, so that I can kill these guys, whack, wake up, wake up, I'm going to hit you again, I don't know how we got to that spot right there, but. What did you leave me, buddy? Can I not get this? I guess not. And there's stuff in there, but I'll probably come back to that. Um, I don't remember where their pyromancer is. So let's take a look real quick. See if we can see. 
I got hit. Hello. Oh. Oh, all of these guys are coming. Do not like that. Oh, and I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Get out of there. I'm stuck, and I'm probably going to die right now because I'm stuck. That sucks. All right, well, I died. I don't really feel like recovering my body, and I, uh, I kind of want to open up. There is an interesting... Ooh. There's an interesting NPC if I follow this path down. And that green shard is very important because that's how you upgrade your weapon along the path that he's going to try to t tell me about, which is the fire-based or chaos path. So let's check him out. So now we have a very cool and awesome hmm? blacksmith. An ember, do you? Ah, I do. Forget about it. I don't deal with that kind. What has gone wrong with embers these days? <laughs> Let's see. Let's get him to repair my stuff so he's not too mad at me. And I don't know what he sells. Does he? sell anything good eh nothing out of the ordinary <laughs> I'm here to smith not to chit chat well he's all business I'm gonna leave him alone then be gone with you you'll spoil my focus and the only way to get to him is to drop down on that spiraling path up above um, and this opens up to just before the last stretch before the boss area which unfortunately is filled with these pinwheel skeletons which are super deadly and I hate them so much oh oh no come on hit him there we go they don't have a lot of hit points but oh man they do so much damage because when they hit you it isn't just one hit it's like 20 hits so, the best thing to do is uh, get them before they get you. Oh, I thought I heard one back up that way. I guess not. Let's see. So, having a good homing weapon... <laughs> homing weapon. Homing crystal soul mass or homing soul mass... One of those does a really good job of hitting these guys. You can kind of just, if you have enough, um, I was going to say, <laughs> you can let him, oh shit, I did not know that guy was there. He's, uh, comes from an area up above, and, uh, oops, I thought that I was using my, my scythe, but it left me a white titanite chunk, thank you sir. See where that item is hanging out up there. He's actually hanging out up above there, and he dropped down without me knowing it. Now, if I come back up this way, let's see. Let me use this. Kill some of those archers there. This is the last pyromancer. I think that I missed one along the way. But now, you can run back up through here. There's all sorts of stuff to look at. Um, I'm honestly, I'm not going to go through there, <laughs> but there's so much stuff. There's a covenant to explore in there, lots of stuff, but I really don't want to do it because it's not stuff that concerns my character tadpole. And you can drop down from, if you look up above there, that's, that's all the area that we were at up above. And you can drop down to that upper ledge there and down to this ledge, and that I believe is the uh, 
it's a set of armor like the monk set or something like that but anyway you can drop down there there's a summon sign of a really cool npc and yeah if you need that npc but honestly this boss battle is so simple especially now that i'm at this point in the uh and building my character, this guy is going to be pretty much just a pushover. So let's drop down in and fight Pinwheel. So now Pinwheel is going to bring a friend over here and, oh, yep, one shot. So yeah, Pinwheel, not a lot of hit points. <laughs> and this is where you get the right of kindling. That is what all the clerics are searching for because they love building big bonfires and... Pinwheel barely gives us any souls, because you're supposed to kill him a lot earlier than I did. Mask of the Mother. The different masks do different interesting things. So, the Mask of the Mother uh, slightly raises hit points. There is the Son and the Father. As you saw, there was the three masks on the Pinwheel, which has a lot of interesting lore if you go and check out um, like, I know that, uh, oh, my controller croaked on me. Come on, controller. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sometimes the Bluetooth dies out and I just have to reset it. So, guys like, uh, Ian B and, um, uh, German Spy... Those two guys, they know so much about the lore. And then you get guys like Vadi that does so much lore stuff too. And those guys, they'll tell you all about the interesting stuff behind um, the pinwheel. And it's really cool. Where, where the hell am I going? I thought that there was a an item over here somewhere. Yeah, I need to use... This is the perfect time to use the Skull Lantern! So it can show me where I'm going. This is actually why you're given the Skull Lantern. Is to navigate the dark, dark places. But I have a good spell that I'm going to use in its stead. And I'm going to take the Skull Lantern and get one of my my favorite items. Which I talked about before. Is the, uh, the Fog Ring. And I'm going to trade this with the Crow. Our Crow friend. And get the Fog Ring instead. But I do want to get to the first bonfire here. And I don't remember where it is. I just want to open that up so I can warp back to Firelink. Where is it? These guys don't have a very far aggro range, so I can just take him out there. Oh, I need to use this because <laughs> I cannot see where I'm going. And I, I thought there was a... Huh. Get rid of you. Let's see. I guess I can just go, go on forward till I get to the... Uh, whoop. Oh, dead. Well, that works too. Back in Firelink, can I even warp to anywhere down there? I don't think that I can. I'm going to have to go all the way back through that, which isn't too big of a deal. I'm not going to go in there anytime soon, so... I guess I can say goodbye to my, uh, my souls. There wasn't too many. But, anyway. That'll do it for this episode. Not the, uh... Not the most uh, top-notch gameplay this time around. I apologize for that, but I never claimed to be the the best at Dark Souls. I just claimed to love it. 
So, um, I guess I have to say thanks for watching. If you want to read all the latest news and notes about what's going on in my gaming world, go to GameWithTheGuys.com. Hit my YouTube channel. I'm hiding in the grass again. Hit that subscribe button so you can get all my videos immediately. And while you're there, like some of my videos, watch all of them, and leave me comments so we can get some discussion going, because that's always a lot of fun. But until next time, I have to say once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you then on Game With The Guys.